Welcome back to I'm Cozy. We're going to break down three key historical Easter eggs in TVN's news hagup drama, Sejak Mehokden Tadu. Let's get it. Accurate costumes. You may have noticed that different characters wear different colored robes. These are known as Talyongpo, which is a type of kwambok or uniform worn by officials and other members of the Joseon royal court. They have been around since the Samgukshide, possibly before, and versions can be found across Asia. The most common colors you see are red, blue, and green. According to the Gyeongguk Daejeon, it was specified that civil servants of rank 1 to 3 would wear red, 4 to 6 would wear blue, and 7 to 9 would wear green. However, this drama has depicted all of these officials wearing black. Why? While the characters and events are fictional, the historical backdrop is set during the aftermath of the Pyongja Horan. Roughly 40 years before this event, Joseon was fighting in the Imjin Weran, which devastated the country. As a result, King Sonjo changed the colors of the Talyeongpo to black because he wanted to symbolically show the people that the government, aka the elite, will focus less on extravagant and more towards rebuilding Joseon. Weirdly, this is also the same time that the Seja was forced to wear black instead of his regular Hongyeongpo or red royal robes. If you're on my Instagram or TikTok pages, you probably know why the color was changed from red to black. But I'll leave a link in the description box below. For the next hundred years, every official wore black until the reign of King Yongjo, who brought back colored Kwanbok but to a lesser extent. For example, civil servants of rank 1 to 3 wore a pink kwanbok and everyone else wore a red kwanbok. This again changed during the reign of King Kojong, who reverted back to black to symbolize that the government was going to work hard towards modernizing Korea. Nice try, mate. Who is Prince Rui? In episode 5, it's mentioned that Ye Chin Wang or Prince Rui had given the throne to his young nephew. This is a reference to Prince Regent Dorogon and Emperor Shunji, the second emperor of the Qing Dynasty and the ninth son of Hong Taiji. Now, the Prince Rui title was one of 12 iron capped princely peerages used during the Qing Dynasty. As the title gets passed down to their descendants, it wouldn't lose its standing. Initially, I was really confused about how to explain this or even how to understand this concept, but then... So if we look at modern royal families, each member has a specific title, aka the Duke of Cambridge or the Duke of Windsor, and these exact same titles are passed down to their firstborn child or heirs. However, in the Qing Dynasty, most titles rank would diminish as it's passed down to their children. For example, if you're Prince Rui of first rank, your son would become Prince Rui of second rank, and your grandson would become Prince Rui of third rank, and so on. In a modern context, let's say Prince William has now become king and is no longer the Duke of Cornwall. Essentially, the title should pass down to Prince George. However, he would be known as the Marquis of Cornwall. And then his son would be, I guess, the Earl of Cornwall. You get what I mean? <laughs> Why does everyone say Tegun Taga? Taga is a title or an honorific title given to descendants or close relations to the king. Royals who are usually addressed as Taga, Tegun, Ongju, Gongju, Sezon, Wangja, Kunju, and Hyunju once they've received their formal investiture. If these royals were not married, they were usually addressed with Agishi. For example, Gongju Agishi or Wangja Agishi. However, there are records showing that some unmarried royals were addressed as Chaga even before receiving their royal investiture. Hence, in the drama, the king's nephew is referred to as Tegun Chaga. I actually don't know if he's married. Well, that's it. Even though this is a fusion saguk drama, there are a lot of elements that are historically accurate, hence why I created this video, right? And surely I'm not the only person here watching this drama and thinking... That's it. Bye.